G'day everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie a loop knot. A loop knot is probably my second most commonly used knot behind the blood knot when I'm fishing. A loop knot is designed so that the knot is not actually touching the object that you're tying the rope, string or in my case fishing line to. I use a loop knot mainly when I'm fishing with a small, a small hard body minnow lure like a rapala or a little wild bait or something. But first, let's learn how to tie the knot, then I'll explain why they are beneficial. For this exercise, <laughs> I've went and bought some 3.5mm white string so it's nice and visible. And it's going to be quite hard doing it backwards, but we'll give it a crack. I'll put the rest of it over that side. There's my string. The first thing I want to do is tie like a half hitch in there, so I'll go around the back and then back through, like that. You can see that there, there's the string, there's the little loop there from my half hitch. That loop, that is not the loop that is going to form the loop knot. The loop knot will be formed in this bit down here. That is the beginning of the actual knot. Right, so I'll make that a bit smaller. What I will do is I'll get this tail and I'll poke it back through the loop. So by now my loop knot should look something like that. You see that? There's the loop and this is where the knot's going to be. From here I get the short end, I wrap it around the main thing once, the main leader or main bit of string. I then poke the tail back through the hole like that and then I pull it tight ensuring that I don't close the loop too much when I pull it. You end up with those two in your hand and you pull nice and tight and that should form your loop. Look at that. You then get the knife or scissors or whatever and you cut that bit off there, that's your tail, you just cut the tail off and there's your loop at the end of your line. Now I'll untie that and I'll do that again a little bit quicker. Right. Don't be daunted when you do this if you're having a bit of trouble. At the end of the day, all you need is a loop. If your knot doesn't look perfect, if you've just tied a little loop and you think it's not quite strong enough or it's sliding, just tie a couple of half hitches and tie it off. As long as it doesn't slide and there's a loop there, it'll work. Right, so let's do it again and do it faster. There's the string. We'll wrap it around and through. So we've got our loop, our half hitch, that's where the knot's going to be. That's the line. I'll then poke that back up through the hole, like such. So I now have that. There's the knot, there's the knot, there's the loop. We'll make the loop a bit smaller. You can just slide the knot down the rope a little bit. Like that, I'll pull the rope back up through there. I'll wrap that around, poke it back through the hole of the original loop, pull it all tight, and there you have it. There's my loop knot. Now I'm going to do it one more time, I'm going to actually tie it to something. I haven't got a, a, a small minnow this long. I don't even think I've got a cod lure with a big enough eye to tie that through. So what I'm going to do the only thing in my entire car that I could find is an empty Pepsi Max can. This video is proudly brought to you by Pepsi Schweppes. I'm going to tie my loop through that little eyelet on that ring pull. I'll drop it on the ground first. Righto, first things first. There's my little half hitch. All right, we've got that bit down pat, this is the third time. We put it through the loop, pretending that's the lure. We pull that up nice and tight like that. Can you see that? That's exactly where we want it to be. Wrap this short bit around the main bit, poke it back through the centre there, then pull it tight. This bit can be a little bit fiddly because you just want to make sure you get the loop the length you want it. And there's my loop. There's my lure tied on. Nice and tight. Okay, so now you're an absolute dead set expert on how to tie a loop knot. But why do you need to tie a loop knot? What use do we have for a loop knot? 
loop knots are designed so that the object that you're tying it to, in my case a lure, it is centred to the knot, is the centre of the force of gravity is centred to the lure in order to make the lure swim straight. See them rings? Not sure whether the camera got that then. Every time I go to film something, I do have a great carp. See, it's about the fifth time on my YouTube channel that I've had that happen. Here he goes again. Oi, quit it, will ya? <laughs> Everywhere I go, every time I try and film somewhere near a waterway, I get interrupted by carp. <laughs> anyway, the loop knot is designed so that it's got movement between the string and the lure, or the, road, the fishing line and the lure. For example, if I'm using a really big cod lure, a great big deep diving lure, and say 100 millimeters long like a big number one stump jumper, it's got a big bib. When it's pulling through the water, it takes quite a lot of pressure to drag that big lure through the water. That pressure pulls the line really tight and pulls the knot straight. So you can usually get away with any type of knot, a blood knot or a half hitch, lard head knot, whatever knot you want. You can normally get away with that and the Murray Cod lure will still swim nice and straight. A small minnow, like a tiny weeny little rapala or a little wild bait minnow or even a pontoon 21 or something like that, because they've got that tiny little bib, they don't pull very hard, they don't displace much water. So there's not much tension on the line. So if your knot is off center a little bit, or even if the knot, just the actual shape of the knot is not straight, it can actually cause your minnow, which should be swimming straight like that, to swim up on its side like that, or go around in circles or whatever. A lot of people will go out and buy a little minnow, whether it's a wild bait or a pontoon 21 or a rapala or, or even a little wing, little orgy or something, it doesn't really matter. A lot of people will buy their tiny little minnows, they'll tie their four or five pound line on it, then they'll go out and complain that it's not swimming straight or it's not tracking, tracking straight through the water. The best way to combat that is with a loop knot. Tie a loop knot straight to your lure, the loop knot will always track straight. It will ensure that the lure tracks the way it needs to track. You shouldn't need to get your pliers out and tune your lure and move your eyes and crap like that because if the lure has come out of the factory properly, the loop knot will make sure that the lure swims straight. And that's why I use loop knots. When I'm fishing with tiny weeny little minnow, 